Okay, y'all, so I am back. So this is going to be a collective luxury kind of haul and like more higher end type pieces and stuff like that. Some stuff isn't like that expensive, but yeah. So this is going to be a haul video. So if you want to see all the items that I got recently, then keep on watching. <laughs> Okay, doll, so this video is being sponsored by Dossier. So I have some new fragrances to share with you dolls. And you dolls know that Dossier is always bougie on a budget because you can get designer inspired fragrances for the low low. So as you know, most perfumes can go from like $100 to maybe like two, dollars $300. Dossier's fragrances are usually around $30. And there's also some that are in the price range of like $50, I believe so. I will put their link down below so you can check it out. So let me just show you the packaging and the scents that I got. I also have other Dossier videos. So I will try to link all the other ones down below as well. I do want to do a collection of all of my Dossier fragrances. So y'all let me know what y'all think about that. And I also did label my existing bottles of dossier which I will show you in just a second if you're wondering why I would do that okay so this is the box it's like a nice nude color and it just says dossier on the box and then on the inside this is how it looks it's like this nice orange peachy kind of color and it says iconic sense designer quality no markups and then you also have this sheet in here that will tell you what the perfume is that you have it tells you the notes and what it's inspired by um, and it just gives you all the information on it and all of that kind of tea, okay? So another thing that you need to note is whenever you purchase Dossier, you will get like this little travel size. And this is basically for you to test out the fragrance. So whenever you get it, just test this. Do not use the larger bottle because if you don't like how the scent smells on you or how it works with your body chemistry, you can send back in the full size bottle and get your money back. And you can always keep this one. I think you have... A certain amount of days like two weeks or something like that i don't want to lie or say the wrong thing so i would just have everything down below but this is like the little travel size and the tester so what i like to do is keep these and just have these you know that i can put in my purse so i don't have to bring like a full size with me to touch up the first one that i have is called floral pear and this is inspired by joe malone's english pear and fresha cologne um but i think it was under the women's section or maybe it was unisex so I was like, I just want to try some new stuff that I've never really heard a lot of people talk about. So I picked it up. All of the bottles are a 1.7 ounce, which is 50 mils. So this is how the bottles look. And then it does have it labeled on there. And then you also have a magnetic cap. So really nice. I like the bottles on these. The only thing that I don't particularly like is that it doesn't tell you the original scent that it's inspired by it just gives you the name that dossier names them so i kind of forget what each one is inspired by unless you keep this paper so basically what i did with my other ones is labeled the back side um and i just put like the name of the original fragrance that it was inspired by just so that i would know because i have so many of them that it's hard to keep up with it okay so this one is floral pear like i said and the notes in this one um the top notes are pear bergamot watermelon rhubarb and the middle notes are kinks rose freesia orange blossom and then the base notes are woody notes musk and amber so that's what's in here it smells really good like a lot of fruity stuff and musky stuff so yeah it gives me like a fruity musky vibe probably something i would more so wear like in the winter season um just anything that's kind of more musky is more like a winter thing for me except for like my baccarat dupes those are like i don't care i wear that anytime but yeah so i like this it smells really good it's a different kind of scent for me i just wanted to try some new ones out this is the next one this one is the floriental vanilla um and this is inspired by ysl's black opium so once again i have my little sample in here and then i have the full size bottle which once again is 1.7 ounces or 50 ml this one does have more of a color to it um, versus the other one so this one the top notes are mandarin pear pink pepper and licorice the middle notes are jasmine and orange blossom the base notes are cedarwood patchouli vanilla and coffee so this one smells really good and i remember like seeing this be like one of the popular scents like a while ago and i never tried the ysl black opium i really love my ysl um 
Libre. I really love my YSL Libre. So I was like, let me try something else YSL because I believe that one is my only um, YSL scent. So I picked this one up to try out. It does smell really good. And it definitely has like a powdery kind of vibe to it. Like something I would wear kind of like an everyday kind of scent. And then this next one that I got is this. And this one is the Floriental Coconut. So this is like the most bougiest one that I got. So it fits perfectly into this video and like all of the goodies I'm about to show y'all. This one is actually inspired by Tom Ford's Soleil Blanc. Um, so yeah, this one, the notes are cardamom pistachio and bergamot the middle notes are lang lang tuberose and jasmine and the base notes are cedarwood amber benzoin and coconut so this one definitely smells like a beach to me so this is the packaging on it and everything like super cute i love the packaging and this one definitely gives like i heard a lot of people say like it reminds them of the beach or going you know like by the water vacation um and like suntan type products and stuff like that and it definitely gives me all those vibes so i was like i have to pick this up and it's like so affordable like i believe most of the tom ford scents are usually around either 29 39 or 49 but the original price is gonna be like 250 and above like tom ford's fragrances are super expensive so i love that dossier does have quite a bit of them and i will have more dossier fragrances to show y'all coming up in other videos as well i know i picked up another tom ford one and some other really fun stuff so definitely check out dossier if you want to get some fragrances for the lolo and you can still smell amazing and like you can wear a tom ford for the low you don't have to spend all your coins on the fragrance so yeah and they actually do stay on pretty nicely you may just want to touch up maybe like once or twice throughout the day if you just want your scent to be really strong but they work amazing and they smell absolutely just like the original scents like i have the original yso libre and the dossier one they smell exactly the same and like the dior j'adore i have that one alien good girl like it's a whole lot of them that i have the originals and the dossier and they smell exactly the same so you won't be mad definitely try them out so without further ado let's get into the haul okay so i have a lot of really cute designer pieces and then just some pieces that are a little bit more affordable so first off i'm gonna show you this bag and shoe combo that i got so this is from the gucci i believe it's the rainbow or multicolor collection i think it's the multicolor collection so this is the bag that i picked they do come like where you can just get the solid like if you want all pink all blue um all green or whatever they do have the solid ones but i wanted the one that had you know all the colors on it i do wish that it had the yellow and stuff on it as well and i kind of wish that the green was able to be seen because i love the green but the green is on the back and i probably would never wear it this way so this is actually the marmont style type of bag i like that it has silver hardware and detailing y'all know i love silver so it has the blue here in the front and then you have the pink um underneath and then on the sides and going all the way underneath to the other side is red and then on the back is the green color and also on the strap this part is leather and it's like a dark dark navy blue kind of color it's not black and also going around here the piping or whatever the leather trimming going around the bag is also a dark navy blue color so really cute but this bag is so colorful it's hard to like put things with it so i would say like white t-shirts would be cute or just like a solid color shirt that matches something in the bag um i've only worn it once and whenever i wore it i wore a denim dress and that was really cute with it so also to go along with that i did get some sandals um, I did recently order the sneakers. The sneakers was all that I wanted at first, but then I saw the sandals and I ended up getting the sandals. Um, but I do have the sneakers coming as well, so maybe I'll do another haul and show y'all those. Um, but these are the sandals, and they're like a platform sandal. They are pretty heavy, but they're not super uncomfortably heavy. Maybe if I was walking for a long time, they would be uncomfortable, but I actually wore these, um, I actually wore these shoes in purse for farthest day when we went out to eat so they were okay for that um because i just walked and then sat down so yeah so these are super cute so they have the pink 
uh, strap here and then they have the blue strap here and then the bottom part is red so it doesn't have the green on it at all it basically just has the colors that you kind of really see on the bag like it matches so perfectly because you can't even see the green but it still would look cute together like so cute so i really love that this collection y'all know i love anything rainbow which you will see in this video it's a lot of rainbow stuff so yes i picked those shoes up super super cute love them this is the bottom they still look brand new even though i've worn them and i did get mine in a 37 or a 38 i can't remember i got a 38 yeah i got them in a 38 so yeah and they fit absolutely perfect my normal shoe size is a six and a half or a seven so that is the first little combo that I got. So I will show you another combo where I have matching purse and shoes. So I did get a Chanel boy bag. I wore this yesterday, so my items are currently in it. So this is the Chanel boy bag in like the so black. So it has like that black gunmetal kind of hardware. And I have this same bag as a um, double flap maxi style you know where it has the so black kind of hardware and i didn't have a boy bag in this size um that was black so i needed a black one because this is like my staple size bag that i like to wear like i have a pink a red a blue like different colors um in this size so i definitely needed black and i wanted to get the black hardware so that i could wear it with silver or gold um so yeah it's super cute oh so yes it feels amazing it's so freaking cute um and you can wear this bag several ways you can wear it on your shoulder you can wear a crossbody or you can also pull this up and wear it shorter as well so i love the boy bags for that reason because they're so versatile and i love wearing mine's crossbody a lot lately being a mom and everything and then to go along with that i actually picked up these shoes now these are super cute um they are sandals but they give me more of a slides kind of vibe so they are super super comfortable i actually wore these for the second time yesterday they got a little bit dirty but you can see the logo at the bottom and like the quilting um so yeah i'm not sure what the actual name of these are but you can see it has the chanel embroidered kind of into the leather so yeah super cute and my mom was like those are so cute i want to get a pair of those as well so these are the sandals like they look kind of basic from far away but then once you get up close it's like oh, okay those are chanel they're like a subtle detail so i like these they're super cute like i said i wore them for the second time yesterday and then also recently i picked these up because i do have well you probably can't see it from here but i do have two chanel silver bags i have a vanity and also a vertical boy bag so i picked up these silver sandals these are called the rope sandals i believe or something like that so they do say chanel here on the front it's probably kind of hard to see because it's silver and then the background is silver as well um and then also you have the chanel emblem here and then this bottom part gives that cork kind of vibe so yeah these are super cute they're not the most comfortable um and i feel like this part is kind of wide so my foot is not like the most stable in the shoe but they are really cute and they are definitely like popping you know like they're very bright and everything and I wear silver a lot so these match with everything like especially if I'm wearing something that's super colorful those shoes go perfect and then I could just throw on a silver bag as well so those are those super super cute I love those and then next I guess oh yeah I will do this purse next okay so I also had got um, this bag which I could also wear with those shoes that I showed you so I thought this was so cute from the very first time I saw it like I saw somebody covering new upcoming Chanel pieces and I was like oh my god I gotta have that bag but the person who I watched thought that it was absolutely tacky but I love colors I also do love the 19 style of bag I do kind of wish that it had more silver on it than gold but it's so cute I love all of the colors that are on it it is like a squishy kind of material bag it's not leather um but yeah it's so cute and i love the little emblem on the front i have some sandals that match this exactly um 
you have the top handle there's also a pocket on the back like this is just so freaking cute and then the inside is actually pink and there's a little zipper pocket in the back as well um and it says chanel made in italy like it's just so cute i love the graffiti on this bag you can really wear this bag with any color um it would also look really cute with something all black as well um but yeah i've only worn it i think once maybe twice i think only once though but yeah it's so cute um but it's definitely oh my god i got something on it <laughs> actually had took it out to eat with me this past sunday but yeah i absolutely love the colors on here all of the colors super cute super pretty really really like that bag also next let's get into kurt geiger okay so a while ago maybe like a few months ago my cousin had graduated and we went to a dinner and i actually wore this bag so i had posted it like on my instagram i think was it on my instagram i know i posted it on my snapchat and a lot of people were asking like oh my god where's that bag from it's so cute and then i have the shoes to match as well so let me just show you i wanted to do an unboxing but i couldn't wait like i had to open it and then time went by i ended up throwing in the packaging away but i did just order something else from them so i can kind of show y'all how it looks but kurt geiger is like a luxury brand but more affordable if you will they did just start carrying Kurt Geiger in my Dillard's, um, but it's more so of like a UK based brand. Um, so it's just not really coming to the States and everything like that. But they're super affordable, if you will. Like I believe this bag retails for like $275 or something like that, which is definitely more affordable. They do have it in other sizes and other shapes and everything like this. Um, but I like the Kensington medium size. So this is how this one looks. I feel like on camera it's not picking up the colors the best, but maybe so. I will see in the playback. But you can see there is like a yellow here, um, like a green color, blue, um, a purple color, and then a different color purple. You have pink, um, and then this lighter color, which is like a light pink or orange, and then it goes back into the yellow it's just so pretty and it is definitely like a um, metallic kind of bag and it is also like a pebbled leather like it definitely feels really really good quality it's definitely more sturdy and this is kurt geiger's emblem the eagle head which you will see on the other bags as well which is cute um and this one does have rainbow crystal detailing the straps are like a gunmetal silver kind of color and then this part is the purple color you know the little pads that go on your shoulder and then the back does say kurt geiger on this little tag here so i love this bag it can be worn crossbody style so you can definitely pull the strap through like it definitely gives me vibes of like chanel type bags but it mostly reminds me of my YSL Lulu bag because the shape is pretty much similar to that. I didn't go get it out to show y'all. But this is like the small version. I don't know if y'all can tell. But it's kind of like that same kind of shape. But that's like the small version of the Lulu. So yeah, this is this bag. It's so freaking cute. This is the inside. It does open up with button closures and then this is the inside so even the way that the inside is made is similar to the YSL Lulu how it has this front section a little middle part and then another back section um so yeah it's so cute the inside is not completely lined in leather like just at the top it is but then it goes into like a cloth material so that also would help the price to be more affordable but this part is leather um and yeah it's just so cute i absolutely love this bag they also have sneakers to match like he has a lot of very colorful really cute stuff so since i got that and it's summertime i got the sandals to match so this is the sandals um and i will probably end up getting some sneakers to match it for the fall slash winter season just so that i could still wear my bag so these are the shoes that I got to match and they match absolutely perfect. They're so cute. It has that metallic, same kind of look, same pebbled kind of leather. Um, and yeah, let me just show you how it looks with the bag. So that is just so cute. And this bag just reminded me of my Momo. Like 
this is something that she would have loved like to wear to church and my mom said she had something kind of similar to this so i don't know it just reminded me of her and i really had to have it like it definitely gives more of a dressy vibe but you could also dress it down as well like i just wore it with like a basic uh pink bodycon dress whenever i wore it and i put it on with these sandals and it was like dressed up but dressed down at the same time so super cute i love the sandals they're really comfortable as well um and i got my sandals in a size 7 or a size 37 because they are italian like all of his stuff is like more italian made so yeah i got the sandals as well and i believe the sandals retailed for around 90 something dollars like close to 100 dollars. so it really wasn't that bad you know compared to like louis vuitton or you know other brands and stuff like that it was definitely way more affordable recently i got another order from kurt geiger um it just says his name on it but my address and everything is on there so i recently ordered more stuff because Whenever I saw that other bag, like there was a review for this other colorway that is similar to the one I just showed y'all. And I was like, yeah, I'll probably end up picking it up later. And then this new bag had came out and I was like, I have to have it. But after I got it, it's like, yo, I really don't need this bag. I thought about sending it back, but it's just so cute. I feel like I need to keep it. So they come wrapped up really nice. I've already dug it out and looked at it and everything um so this one is in a different style the leather is much more squishier but it's still called the kensington bag just like the other ones but the style is made a little bit different and this is the medium size this one only comes in medium and large and then they also have like a crossbody version of it but look at how cute this is like tell me this is not so cute the one thing that i would say is that i do wish that it had because this strap can come out i do wish that it came with two straps so that you could do the crossbody option if you wanted to but it's basically just like a little shoulder bag which is also really cute as well and i love the colors the leather is more squishy like this one is definitely not structured like that last one i showed you on the eagle head it just has like a black smoky kind of crystal on it it's not rainbow and also if you can see up close the stitching is also kind of like rainbow if you can see that like the stitching is different colors so yeah because like back here there's orange uh green blue like a pinkish red color like it's really cute so this is the back of it this one doesn't have that little piece um or that little label it just has kurt geiger like embossed on there um and yeah i just thought this was so cute i'm really uh really was waiting for him to drop some sandals to match it but he's dropped a couple of shoes but it's not any thing that's like my style it's more like dressy kind of shoes so yeah i'm still waiting for him to drop some shoes to go with this but they do have some sneakers that would look really cute with this so i'll probably end up getting those as well this is how the inside looks it is stuffed oh and all of his bags do come with a dust bag this is how the dust bag on this one looks just in case anyone cares but it says kurt geiger london um and yeah it's a nice material um and this one does have paper and everything in it right now so on this one you could probably kind of see how the lining is on the other ones because it does have the leather lining but then it is like a cloth material on the inside and it does have like his logo all over it this one has a zipper in the back um and this one is smaller than the other ones but it's kind of you know like i could still fit everything that i need but this one you can take the strap off like this like it just comes out and then you would just weave this back through so that's why i was saying i feel like he should have made an option to maybe purchase an extra crossbody strap for this bag that would be really cute um but yeah so this is this one it's super cute i just love the colors but then after i got it i was kind of like why do you need that and you have this like it's kind of like the same but not the same like i don't know y'all i couldn't help it i had to have it i love colors okay and it was pride month well pride month is over now but you know like it's so cute like everything was coming out in rainbow but that was a new one that he had these other two the one that i already showed you the metallic one and this one that i'm about to show you they're like older items that he has been made so this is the next piece you probably can already see at the top it's still wrapped up 
I didn't even take all the plastic off because I wanted to show y'all how things come. So this one, I left the plastic on the handle, so I do need to remove that. But this is the next one. It's basically the exact same as this one. But this one is like the metallic version and this one is just like the basic primary regular kind of colors. So yeah, I thought this was so cute and I actually felt like I would get more wear out of this one maybe because it's just kind of like regular colors. Um, the other one definitely gives more of a dressy vibe. This one can be more casual, but it would also be cute paired with like any color dress or shirts or whatever or just like a white shirt. I will show you I got sneakers to go with this one um and yeah i just had to have it um but it does have gold detailing on it so if you're more of a gold girl you probably would like this one more or if you want something like more primary rainbow type colors um this is the eagle head on this one it is gold and the gems in it are also like a gold color um and then on the back the little tag is gold and it says kurt geiger so these are the colors on it i don't really like whenever i look at it i don't really like this darker red color that much i like the brighter red that's in the corner but this one i don't know i don't really like it that much it gives me like a maroon red vibe um but yeah i do still like it because it kind of gives it more of a classiness to it like instead of just being so so bright um but yeah i think it's so freaking cute and then the straps on it are green i'm not even gonna try to take the plastic off right now or i might try so yeah the straps are kind of tucked into the bag right now um and then you would of course pull them up but it's made exactly the same on the inside it's just stuffed right now and then the dust bag is in there as well um, and I believe this one also retails for like $275, $295, something like that. Um, and then I also got a pair of sneakers. These sneakers are kind of more expensive on the site, but, you know, still not super expensive. I think they retail for like $180. Um, but a lot of his sneakers are like around $175 and stuff like that. And I think there are some that are cheaper. But for this style, I could see why they charge more. Um, so these are the Laney Eagle um sneakers and i got a 37 they fit perfect this is the box the box is much bigger than my sandals box um and i already looked at them so these match perfectly with the bag i just showed you so they're wrapped up in plastic and these remind me of my louis vuitton sneakers that have like that platform vibe to them and i have some that have like colorful louis vuitton writing on the side so i was like this is basically like the same thing. And I never even wore those shoes. But y'all, I kind of got a little a little shopping problem. Like, I've been going a little crazy lately. I really need to chill out. So, this is the sneakers. So, they are like a platform kind of vibe. Definitely, you know, like on trend. Super cute. Would be super cute with some jeans. Or even like sweatsuits and stuff in the fall and winter season so on the back of this one it has more of like that blue color scheme so you have the green um this lighter blue a darker blue and then like that lighter purpley kind of color um and then on this shoe the rainbow kind of continues so you have the pink that darker red the regular red and then yellow so you have like all of the uh, colors on the back of the shoe and they also actually have the eagle emblem and they also are crystallized as well so i was like okay that's definitely like some extra detail and that's why they cost more these also kind of give me vibes of like the alexander mcqueens and i have those in all white so i mean it's not necessary to pick up the shoes but i love having the shoes as well like i'm just that kind of extra so it does say kurt geiger on this little part here but it is a white tag um it says kurt geiger london um and yeah i just think these are so cute on the back right here he could have also put his label but he didn't it just kind of has like a little bit of a texture feel to it it doesn't say his name though um but they're kind of like minimalistic and with his brand you know like he has some stuff that has his name all over it but if you don't know what it is you just won't know you would just know like oh that's a really nice bag like you it's no labels all over this 
you know, that tells you what it is versus like this. It's like, okay, that's a Gucci bag because it has the G's all over it. But this, you wouldn't really know what it is. It could be high end. It could be something really cheap. You wouldn't really know. But to me, it does still look luxe. So yeah, I really love Kurt Geiger. He is a new brand for me and I've just been really loving it and starting to pick up a lot of his items because they're so cute and I love all of the rainbow vibes. So these actual sneakers do come just like this with the colors that are in the metallic bag. So I was thinking about getting the same exact ones with the metallic, but then I was like, I should get something different. So they have some other ones that have like the metallic stripes on the sides and then they have some other ones that have like little metallic hearts. I think those may be the ones I end up getting, um, but I said I would just wait on those and see maybe they might come out with a different style. And then, of course, I'm probably going to pick up something to go with the some kind of shoes. Um, they have some sneaker socks, like the ones that kind of look like the Balenciaga ones. But they have different colors at the bottom. So I was thinking I may end up getting those to go with this. So that would be really cute. So, yeah. Also, lastly, I did get a couple of new Steve Madden sandals. So I'll just throw these in as well. So this is the boxes. This is how the boxes look now. So these are, both of them are size 7. They're similar styles of shoes. Um, but yeah, so these are the first ones. They're actually currently on sale or recently whenever I checked, they were on sale. But we paid full price. So me and my mom both got these. This was actually a Mother's Day gift to me from my mom. So these are super cute i was about to buy them myself like we were out shopping and i was like oh those are cute i have to get those and she was like um yeah i'm gonna get me a pair too and that'll be your mother's day gift so these are so cute they have the purple the blue the yellow the pink and then like this mint kind of color so these are super cute and i have this little throw on calvin klein hoodie kind of dress that i've wore with this and the colors match absolutely perfect like the logo has like splash paint all over it um and i wore it to bring my baby to the doctor one day so yeah these are so cute i got them in a seven these shoes are absolutely comfortable i always get compliments i've only worn them like twice but whenever i have worn them i got a lot of compliments on them especially that day when i wore them to the doctor's office a lot of nurses and stuff in the hallway were like where did you get those those are so cute so those are super cute um and then also me and my mom both got these as well these are the heidi rhinestones sandals i got them in a seven once again we ordered these from the Steve Madden website. My mom has been wearing her. She already wore hers a few times, but I haven't worn mine yet. I love this style of sandal because it's kind of like sporty and comfortable, but then this one is definitely more dressy because it has crystals all over it. So this one, the backings are gold. Um, I think they also have a version that's silver. It might be a little bit different, but this is how they look. They're just super crystalled out um and yeah they're just cute but you could definitely make these yourself like if you can find a good pair of these shoes like it doesn't have to be steve madden you could put these crystals on yourself because the crystals are just like on a strip of metal or whatever like jewelry um and then it's sewn on so you could do this yourself like this will be um a, a easy diy if you can find some good quality sandals like this i know walmart um, has some but theirs are more flatter i like this platform um but yeah so these are super cute speed madden always be coming through with the good sandals so yeah that is everything that i have been waiting to show y'all oh i also had got this bag as well so i'll just show y'all this real quick i had also got the prada crystal bag i had this for a while um so yeah this one is really cute as well and it's just basic and simple but it does have the crystals all over it and i love my other prada pieces i've worn that one once as well um and i think it'll be really cute with my monolith boots once the fall and winter rolls back around so yeah that is all of the luxury pieces that i have to show you don't forget to check out Dossier and definitely like, comment, and subscribe. And if you have any questions, leave them down below. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. What? I just said that. <laughs> I love you dolls. Bye.